Hi everyone, welcome back to Gym Live. Hope you've all been having a great week this week. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yeah. weather's been amazing, hasn't it? I think um, we've been trying to get out in the garden and do different things. So I'm really looking forward to doing some barbecues next week because mm. apparently we're allowed to have six people in our garden. Yeah. So that should be good. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, so tonight we've got. Sorry, first of all, I'd just like to say sorry. We got we came on a little bit late. We just had some technical issues, but we're over those now. Um, so yeah, so tonight we've got um, lots of different things. Has has normal. We've got the um, the teen skit, the teen challenge, which will be quite exciting. Look forward to that. And obviously we've got some videos and then a message as well. So today we're going to be talking about um, that you have been created for a purpose. Each and every one of us has been created for a purpose. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And I'm looking forward to doing some worship as well. Later. I think we've got some birthday shout outs as well. Yeah. The table's very wobbly. Uh, Sam Tonkinson uh, Sam. on the 3rd of June. will be, how old will you be, Sam? He's going to be 12. It's going to be 12. Happy birthday, Happy Sam. Happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful day. So happy birthday to you. And then we've got Ariella as well on the 4th. And she's going to be 17. Happy oh birthday, wow. Ari Ari Ariella. So, yeah, celebrate that as well. So, um, what we're going to do next, Sean, what's up next? It is... We're very organised today. Yeah, sorry sorry about that. We're just slightly, slightly, <laughs> slightly <laughs> all over the place today. But, um, but hey... So, yeah, we're going to get on to um, watching the teen challenges in a little bit. Should we pray? Yeah. I think that's always good. It's always good to pray. So, yeah. So I'm just going to pray, and then we're going to watch a video, and then we'll go on to the teen challenges. So, Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your amazing, wonderful love towards us, Lord. And, Father, as I pray, as this live stream goes out tonight, that your presence will be so real and so um, so with everybody that's watching a live stream and just be a part of that, Lord. So, Father, I pray that your presence and your Holy Spirit will, will be with us, Lord. And that, Lord, that you will just touch every heart in a powerful way. In your precious name, I pray. Amen. Take a look at this video. <laughs> to the our challenge how it, it was going to be a teen leader challenge but we've got a teen leader versus youth leader so we've got Sean and Levi and then given the the spelling bee questions is myself and Georgia hi guys glad you could all be joining us today so I'm just going to kick it straight off with our first word this one is for you Levi 
Can you please spell cat? Oh, all right. C A T. That is correct. Good luck, Sean. That was <laughs> Sean, your first word is hilarious. What? <laughs> um, I can't spell. So I'm the perfect candidate for a spelling bee. Right, okay. H I L A R I I O U. Not not double I, just the one I. S. Way, well done, Sean. <laughs> I wouldn't have spelled that right. That was an easy one. Is this too much pressure? Right, Levi, your second word is it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. Can you please spell dog? Why is this so difficult? All right, um, D O G. Correct. Well uh-huh. done. He's on a ball today. I saw the sweat on his face then. This is a fix. Sean's. No, I've got an easy one for you. I've been set up. No, this is the easy <laughs> word. So, Sean, your, your second word is a vehicle. A vehicle or vehicle? Vehicle. V E V E H. I C A L. Oh. It was oh. V E H I C L E. Oh. Good I try, good I try. I did A level English, I swear. <laughs> right, Levi. Yes. Your second word. You're moving on to a bit more a bit more uh letters now. Can you please spell fish? Oh jeez. I think the last one was three as well, but I got this. F I T C A B C D S H. Yep, correct. Yeah. Well done, Sean. Please do not uh, interrupt your candidates. <laughs> your 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 Thank uh, you. what competition. Your next word, Sean. Shall I get easy or hard? What do you want? An easy one. Well, easy I'll probably one. get the easy ones wrong anyway. But you know. Well, an easy one is Pharaoh. 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 I have to do it like this. So I'm writing it, and I still get it wrong. P. H-A-R P-H-A-R-O-H Uh-uh. Oh. It's P-H-A-R-A-O-H. Oh, there's a sneaky A in there. Right, so Levi. Done. I'm ready. A little bit more difficult this he time. He better have more than four wo- letters in his word. <laughs> Levi, can you please spell farm? That's four letters, isn't it? I'm not sure. Is this an F or a PH? <laughs> F A R M. Well done. That is correct. Yeah. You're right, Sean. You don't look too happy. Mm-hmm. I've got this an easy, easy one now. Sean. As long as I can pronounce this right, this is easy. All right. Okay. As long as I can pronounce it. Your next word is pronunciation. You see what I've done there? Pronunciation. Yes. Pronunciation. P R O N I P P R O N O U Uh uh Wait, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> P <laughs> P R O N O You said that last time? I'm confused. Move P- on. P R O Skip that N U N C I A T. C I A. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's what was yeah. that. Did it A level English? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Levi. Yes. Now this word describes Sean at the moment. Can you please spell sad? <laughs> oh, I got this. S A D. Well done. Well done. Thank, thank you. Thank I, you. I could, I could see your brain really working on that one. I know that was a difficult one. Mine are harder than Sean's. She can't get them right. I know. Yeah. Levi, <laughs> Levi's got the hard ones today. Sean, do you want me to give you a sentence with this one in? Yeah. Yeah, so in the army, you should go and speak to your lieutenant. Can you spell oh lieutenant? Lou, <laughs> ten, nant. I need every word individually. Letter individually. Letter individually, not word. L. <laughs> Good start. L. I E U E E 
L-I-E-U, yeah. L-I-E-U-T. I think there's a P. E-N-A-N-T. Woo! Yes, Sean! One first point, one correct. First point for Sean. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Right, I'm, I'm giving him a bit more letters on this one. Is that all right, Sean? That's much better. Levi, can you please spell Bible? Oh, for goodness sake. Bible. Oh, jeez. B. I. B. L. E. Ha- have you been cheating? Have, have you looked at my list? Because he's just getting every don't single don't one of these secrets. correct. Don't give my secrets, okay? Thank you. Well done, Levi. Thank you. So before this team challenge, me and George were given the responsibility to make sure Levi had the hard words. So, Sean, can you just spell responsibilities? R E S P O N S I B L I T E S. You missed out an I. I E S. I E S. Can't correct it now, Sean. No, 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 you're wrong. <laughs> you are a harsh. Right. I've noticed you're not spelling it out anymore, Sean. I'm ch- I'm trying to I'm trying to be cool. <laughs> right, Levi. We go we're going with another emotion. Okay. Can you please spell happy? Would you like it in a sentence? Yes, please. Yes. Georgia was very happy when she saw the chocolate in the cupboard. Oh, I got this. That'd be easy. H A P P Y. Well done. Thank you. Winning Thank again. You. Your next one. So we've got four left for you, Sean. Leave while we've got three. I'm left. not doing this again. <laughs> Your next word Is resembles you. It resembles me. Okay. Yeah. Can you spell intelligence? Can you spell sarcasm? <laughs> <laughs> Intelligent. I N T I N T E L L I G E N T. That was intelligent. I did say intelligence, but I'll give you that one. Okay. Another point I'm just for warming Sean. up. I'm just warming up. <laughs> Three words left. Levi, can yes. you please spell food? Can I can I have the origin of the word, please? Of course you can. <laughs> the origin <laughs> food is a p- is is, is a, an item that you find in most shops, and it is what people live off of. Thank food. you. Food. Thank you. F O O D. Well done. Great job, Levi. Great job. Thank you. I'm actually going easy on you this time, Sean. Okay. This word is less than four letters long. Okay. Can you spell I? Can I have it in a sentence, please? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In a sentence, yeah. I touched my eye. E Y E. Wrong. <laughs> it was just I. It was I. <laughs> Oh, come on, Sean. That's, <laughs> a, that's a bit disappointing, really. If, uh, everyone could have got that one. That was a one-letter word. Yeah. Levi, I've, I've been giving you some difficult ones, so we're going to drop down to three letters. Is that Thank okay? You. Yeah, that's Can fine. you please spell what? the word and? Can I have that in a sentence, please? You can. Levi and Sean. A-N-D. Well done. Thank you. Winning. Sean, come easy. on. He's got harder words than you. So your word before last, Sean, five letters long. Yes. <coughs> is plain. And I know you're going to ask to see in a sentence. So the plain was plain. <laughs> this is easy. P-L-A-N-E. I couldn't quite hear that. Could you say it again? P-L-A-I-N. No, that was wrong. It was P-L-A-N-E. <laughs> this is a mutiny. Right. Now, Levi, this is the hardest word you're ever going to have to spell in your life. Uh, okay. Can you please spell for me the word Levi? Oh, wow. Can I have that in a sentence? You sure can. The pastor's son is called Levi. Can I, can I have the origin of that word, please? You can. The origin of the word comes from the Bible. They were named Levites, often shorted to 
Levi. Right, I was just using that to waste time to figure out how to spell this. L E V I. Oh, ten out of ten. He's done so well oh in yes. this, guys. This is this is so. How should I put it? Is this it? the best day of your life? That yes. That was must have been hard, Levi. I can see the sweat it. dripping off your face. Sean's last word. <coughs> Words. Word. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. S U P E R C A L A. Wrong. Supercalifragilistic. It's actually S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I S T I C E X P I A L I D O C I O U S. Well, someone loves Mary Poppins. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. <laughs> I'm glad that's over with. I'm proud of how I did that. Sean, you had the easy words. Levi got more than you. <laughs> Disappointing. How many How many did you get right, Sean? I think it was two. Can you, can <laughs> you spell two? Yeah, <laughs> I can. Spell two for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you like it in a sentence? I went <laughs> Anyways, to the shop guys, and brought two apples. I think we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Thank you for doing that. And we're going to head over to Mindy and um, the message for today now. Thank you. Hey guys, how you doing? So today I want to talk a little bit about what it means when God said that we've been created for a purpose. And as I've been praying for you all this week and thinking about you, and I was thinking about how, you know, this time is quite difficult for some of us, and that actually we have to remind ourselves why we're here, and there's a purpose for each and every one of us. And I was looking at the scripture, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, and I know that the scripture is used often, but I really feel that the Holy Spirit was leading me here and just to share with this, share, share this with you guys today. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and plans to give you hope and a future. And I was looking at Psalm 139, verse 13 as well. I'm going to read that to you as well. It says, For you were formed, for you formed my inward parts. You covered me. In my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. And so, as I was looking at these two scriptures and praying, I just thought, you know, sometimes we have to be reminded of our purpose. And God created each and every one of us for a specific purpose. And um, we choose to live, and we make the choice to live according to that purpose. And so when I think about how God has created each and every one of, one of us in his image, and not only has he done that, but out of that place, he's planted destiny and he's planted purpose. 
And I was thinking about, well, the questions that you guys might be asking right now is, well, what's God's plan for my life? And does God even have a plan for me? And, you know, God's plan for your life is not as complicated as you think. For his will, for his children, is mainly for us guys just to walk in obedience to his word and grow in grace and knowledge and the scripture and to live right according to, you know, according to scripture, but in short, just to grow in maturity and righteousness in Christ. So those are the things that God has given us and planned for our life. But sometimes there are very specific plans that he gives us. So I was thinking about my own life. And um, and as a teenager, I wasn't actually that confident. I'm, you know, I wasn't very confident. And sometimes I'm still not. And I was very, very unsure about the purpose of my life. And this filled me with a lot of teenage angst and a lot of time just sitting and pondering and wondering, what's my life about? And I remember going to college one day and I was talking to the t- tutor there and I was hoping that he would give me an answer and say, you know what, as I put my questions to him, I just said, you know, what is life about and what's the purpose and what's the purpose for my life? Can you help me? You're my tutor. And I was talking away and just talking about different things. And he just, you know, at the end of all the things that I talked about, he just looked at me and he said, you know what, because you're a really deep thinker, patted me on the head and said, don't worry, you'll figure it out. Well, that wasn't very helpful, you know. It was just that moment I thought, well, okay, that's not very helpful, but thank you anyway. And then as I continued on my journey to looking for purpose and looking for what is it that God has created me, well, at that time I actually didn't know God, but what was my purpose? And so then I started to look into deeper things, other things. I started to look at things like astrology. And um, astrology then became quite a big part of my life. And um, I used to look at my star sign every day and every week. And then I found like what was happening was I was looking at it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on, Thursday, Friday. And I, and I was like, wake up and think, OK, what's my stars going to say today? What's my destiny? What's planned for me, for me today? What's my fate? What's going to happen? And what I found was actually I became almost like looking for purpose and looking for an answer in astrology. And sometimes the stars would say, actually, you're not going to have a very good day today. And so I wouldn't have a very good day. And other times they would say, you know, oh, you're going to meet your boyfriend for the future and the man of your dreams. Yeah, right. OK. You know, so all of those different strange and weird and wonderful things used to come out of looking into as an astrology. But what it did, it still left an emptiness inside of me until the day that I met Jesus. Now, when I met Jesus, my life completely and utterly changed and everything began to make sense. I didn't have all the answers. It wasn't like suddenly like now I knew what my purpose and plan was, but life made sense because I had an encounter with Jesus and I met him and he met me. And that began to just wake up my spirit. And it was an incredible time, you know, when you first get born again and you just have this love um, experience with, with God and the Holy Spirit. And it's the most incredible time that you can have. And what began to happen was as time went on, God began to reveal. You know, I've been a Christian for over 30 years. And as, as time has gone on, God began to reveal more and more the plans and purposes that he had for my life. And, you know, some people are born. And like Neil, for example, my husband, Neil, you know, he was born and by the age of six, he had a a pencil in his hand and he's been drawing ever since. He hasn't stopped drawing because that's his thing. He knows, he knew that he'd grow up to be an artist because that was a thing that was in him to do. Whereas other people like me, who haven't got a clue, you know, what was going to happen and how my life was going to plan out. But when God came into my life, it no longer mattered in some respect because what had happened was I'd given it all over to him. And I placed my life into his hands and I just said, Holy Spirit, you have to help me work out what the plan and purpose is for my life. And he did. And he has. And I look at the journey of my whole Christian life and it wasn't revealed to me straight away, but it was revealed over time. So here's what I want to say to you guys today is be encouraged and and remember what Jeremiah says, you know, that God has a plan for each and every one of us. And it's a plan to prosper us and it's a plan to give us hope and a future. So in these days that we're living in, 
don't think that the words that God has spoken over your life through, whether it be someone coming up to you and giving you a word of prophecy or a word of knowledge or, or you looking in the scripture yourself, don't think that those words have now fallen to the ground and they don't, they're no longer going to happen. That's not the truth. That's a lie. And the truth is that God still, those words still are important. Those, God, those words still mean that God will fulfill his promises because God will never leave us. He will never forsake us and he will fulfill his promises to us. So hold on to the fact that, you know, he has a plan and he has a purpose for our lives. And so what we want to do, to, you know, is just to keep, you hold on to that and remember that. It's really, really important. So, yeah, get your Bibles, read through Jeremiah 29, verse 11, read Psalm 139, verse 13 up to verse 16. Read it through and just get it in your head and get it into your heart and get it into your spirit and look forward to the plans and the purposes that he has for you. Amen.
like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy and all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory and I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me
so much that when we come into your presence Lord you are just right there and in your presence Lord there is fullness of joy and Lord you have created each and every one with a plan and a purpose Lord and Lord when you created us right from the very beginning right in our mother's womb you had a plan and a purpose for each and every single one of us Lord and I thank you Father that we are the apple of your eye Lord you hold us in the palms of, of your hands, Lord. You know every single hair on our heads, Lord. You know everything about us, Lord. Our comings and our goings, Lord. And you hold us, Father, for eternity. And I thank you so much for that. In your precious, precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, the presence of God Seriously, when you're in this place right now, as the guys are worshipping, you can just feel his tangible presence. And I know that that's not just for this, this place that we're worshipping. It can be right there in your home where you are right now. So, you know, just carry on. You know, I know we're going to go to Zoom right now, and that's great, and that's good, and we're going to have a chat. But it doesn't have to end right there. So after the Zoom, try, you know, if you can, just go and find a place for yourself. Get your Bible, put on the worship, play the live stream back for the worship. And you know, just allow his presence to come because each and every single one of us has been created for a purpose. And you need to recognize and realize that. In these times that we live in, it is so easy to forget. You, it is a big deal. So thank you so much for being a part of this live stream tonight. Really, really appreciate you joining us. And just share it, like it, do all the things that you're supposed to do.
I close my eyes. 